dude's got his eye on me. I can tell. Let's see, yep, he is definitely following me. Oh no! Ah! Which one? This one? No, we're Do I dare open it? Oh my god! Oh. <coughs> There's a doggy. Oh no. Oh. Uh, no, this one, the other one, right there. Right there. Never really seen before. This is. Dude, he's building the house. Oh my god. Well, what's going on, folks? We are back out in the streets of LA once again on the Suron. We could not have picked a better day to get out in the streets. It's 70 degrees, skies are blue, and there's almost no traffic. It's 1 p.m. and we're about to adventure on the Suron for the next hour or two. It's gonna be a nice, lengthy ride today. So stay tuned, here we go. We are off, out and about in the streets of LA today. Smashing. Getting things started with some speed. We are beginning the ride out here in downtown LA and we are immediately making our way up out of here because downtown LA is not where we want to be today. Oh, so we just got to bomb some hills, make some rights and some lefts. Brakes working? So to the advice of like a few people in the comments, I changed the pads out. I recently had changed the pads in the rear to Shimano HO3C. But I don't know, I guess they're already done for. So I changed them out again and let's see. Definitely better, definitely improved, significantly improved. But uh, I had recently changed those pads out for those exact same pads and they were not working that well within about a month. And then as you guys saw, I bled my brakes. That really didn't do anything. So I got new pads again. It does seem a little bit better, but uh, I guess we'll see how they perform on this ride today if I ever have to actually use them. Other than that, bike feels dialed. A lot of people have commented saying when I'm gonna ride the RAR again, the RAR Mantis. I am gonna hop on that thing soon. The problem is I pulled my shoulder just trying to get that bike into my truck because it is a little bit heavier. It's not much heavier, but it is just a tad bit heavier than the Suron. I'd say about like 30 pounds. And that makes a big difference if you're not expecting it. So when I put my Suron into my SUV, like I have it down to a science. Anyone who lifts weights knows that if you're lifting a weight that you are, it's uh, you, like it's a little bit heavier than you expect it to be and you pull it up with a certain amount of force, boom, you instantly pull the muscle. And that is precisely what happened when I tried to put that thing into my truck. It was a little bit heavier than I expected and I yanked it a little too hard. And next thing you know, boom, my shoulder was screwed. I don't even know where I'm at. I gotta be careful with that thing. Basically, after that happened though, I haven't really touched it ever since then, which is really my fault. I really, I wanna pop back on it because it is a really nice bike. Don't get me wrong. I think a lot of people think that uh, I did the brand deal for it just to get it and then just stop using it. I still have it, it's sitting in my house, but uh, I just, uh, I'm enjoying the Suron so much and its zippiness lately that I, it's hard to say that I want to ride anything else at the moment. However, if a comparison between the Suron and the Mantis is something that you guys want to see, feel free to let me know in the comments. Dude, we got so much time and sunlight today, we can kind of go anywhere. We're going to go. Yeah, perfect day. The rain is over. I'm waiting for the, the perfect weather to show up. It's still like, uh, you know, not perfectly prime. Look at go, what's going on down here. Holy crap. I don't know why I'm surprised. Downtown LA, intense, you know, one and the same. It's a little bit more extreme than it was in the past though. I used to park right here. Funny story, I used to park right here and um, I had a Prius. I don't know if anyone who watches me still remembers when I had my Prius and uh, it got broken into right there. I just got the same idea. I'm go ahead and go this way. We're just gonna cut through LA Live, screw it. We got so much time to do whatever we want to do today. And we're gonna cut through LA Live. Looks like this is off limits. They're doing a film shoot. What it looks like is going on here. Oh, it's a movie. Super Mario Brothers release, maybe? People screaming at me? I don't know. There go the boys. Let's see, I'm gonna cut through LA Live. I'm just getting lost. We are moving. See if we can get up the stairs. 
Oh yeah. Yo, yo. Let's see, where can we go? Couple of biker kids, love to see that. I forgot what I was talking about, but anyways, now we're at Stable Center. Dipping, moving, grooving, doing what we do. We're gonna mob from here, southbound. And we're gonna go to uh, South Central, I guess. We're gonna start mobbing down Figueroa. That is the street we're on. As you guys know, most of the time I try to go down Figueroa, I end up like, Getting ADHD and you know going a different way, but uh, we'll see how far we end up sticking down here. Right now we're on Fig and Venice, Bumblebee in the cut. Thing's pretty sick. We're gonna try and put in some real miles for you guys today. Everyone says what the, the, they want longer videos. 30 minutes is enough. 40 minutes isn't enough. I've, I'm going for an hour. I'm, I'm doing my best. It's only so much that I could put in a video, even when it's just, you know, like me talking, I still have to talk. <laughs> I still have to talk for, you know, like an hour. Easier said than done. It is easier said than done to talk about interesting things for an hour while you're just riding around the streets and doing occasional like jumps and stuff. But uh, I'm working on it. I am working on it, don't get me wrong. I really wanna go, really wanna go ways that I have like really never gone before. So I'm seeing like stuff like this is kind of catching my eye. Right now we're by the 10 freeway. So we've already gotten a few miles down from where we started. We only have two hours to that parking spot, but I figured that should be perfect enough time to get a one hour video done, you know? So see where we end up. We're gonna go down this way for a bit and then we're gonna cut right. South Central is just down that way. So oh God, I hate sitting and waiting though. Let's see if we can get around this traffic. Out here in LA, it's kind of like fun for yourself. Got some, uh, we got some some new areas right around here that we could check out this is kind of anyways out here you know skid row is not the only place where there's gigantic homeless camps in uh in la for those who don't know it's kind of spread out to the outskirts of the city and all over out here so pretty much anywhere you go you're gonna see some some pretty big camp set up around the city of downtown la and uh, it is what it is. Anyways, we are trying to get off of this street right here. We want to go around. Playing a game of chicken right now. <laughs> Only was mobbing. Certified mobbing. We're just going to head down this way. Right here is the courthouse. We might swing through there. What is going on? Who's honking and why? I don't know. We're going to try and get across here while we can. Very sketch. Uh, yeah, so anyways, here's the courthouse. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> as insane as that was. So I'm actually kind of excited to check this out. This is a spot that I've been to a bunch of times on my BMX, but I can never really figure out what to do. Maybe we can do something on the Suron. Who knows? Let's see. I mean, there's not really much anything here. You used to be able to ride on these, but obviously they put these things just, to, I think, specifically to prevent people from doing that because I'm sure skaters were hopping on this and going into the street and there's at least a few BMXers that have done it too but um, that was the main spot that I was coming to check out let's see what we got right here a stair set that goes into a fence okay let's go ahead and wrap it around going on over this way the same thing yeah it looks like all the spots are pretty much shut down the main spot was this I mean it was the I wanted to do that I wanted to ride off of this and uh and give this bike suspension a real solid test but that does not look like something we're going to be able to do unfortunate anyways you can always go up the stairs this thing goes upstairs with so much ease it's kind of crazy Let's see what's going on this way oh my god <laughs> Woo! bro i forget how good this thing feels jumping stair sets too this bike is very capable when it comes to jumping off of stuff. Even though that is definitely not its intended purpose. Pretty sure I can say that. With these. All right, so now we gotta go through this like, uh, semi-zombie land. As we make our way to South Central on this absolutely beautiful day. It is so nice outside. 
This was the best day I could have picked to come out and cruise, so I wasn't gonna let this go to waste. I had to do something today. Mobbing around. Back here on Grand, we're just gonna start slowly cutting south. Trying to see stuff we haven't seen in the past because pretty much all this area, I mean, it's hard to say what I have and haven't covered. It's, I've been everywhere, <laughs> as far as I can think. There's always gonna be one or two streets that I check out that I have never seen before, but for the most part, we've kind of done it all around here, one way or the other. Why is there a house in the middle of this industrial area? That's kind of crazy. We got the office chair. Kind of a nice chair, honestly. These apartments are finally almost done. Last time I came through here in the video, I don't know if you guys remember, they were working on it way up at the top and there's dust flying out in the street and it got in my helmet and it stayed in my helmet for like 30 minutes. So that kind of sucks. But, um, yeah. Out here moving and grooving. The further we go this way, we start ended up in South Central. What's going on, fellas? Look at these dudes, right? I'm just like, hey, dad, y'all stick it out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Those are definitely some USC kids wandered their way out into, uh, you know, I don't know what they're in search for. We're just not even going to ask. Don't ask, don't tell. Isn't that a policy? Dude, I heard him like creeping up on me. I thought he was, I thought he was pulling up on the kid. Them e scooters are dead silent. You don't know what's going on around you until they're right up on you. Waiting to get across this street so we can go south on Hill. Look at this dude's van. I want to pull up on it. Get her van. Look at her, this thing is crazy. Is <laughs> that short dog on it? Out here mobbing. They're headed straight to South Central, so are we. All right. Let's see, let's try to hit some zigzags around here. We're pretty much in South Central already. I know that was quick, right? That's how fast it goes from downtown to the ghetto out here. This is a nice little jump that is not possible to hit because there's a tent right after it. So this is kind of like the in-between spot. Right in between USC and downtown LA, there's like a gray area. And we're in that gray area right now. Also RV, some graffiti. As we go further south, let's see what's going on on this street right here. Let's see if we got some bikes for sale right here. I don't know. Probably. Don't feel like getting shot today. Let's see, where are we at? We are kind of in the mix right now. Want to find some like jumps or something maybe around here? Let's see what we can get ourselves into. We're almost back on the other. Once we get to the other side of this, we're in the USC part of town. So we'll see how that goes. Can we get through right here? Oh no, I couldn't even see what's going on. What's going on, man? You guys sell any bikes? Uh, you was, uh, sir, you want you want a bike? Uh, bike? Yeah. Uh, How much is the blue one? Let me see. Uh, oh, look at the puppy. Oh, not for sale? Not for sale. So, only you can go is uh, go over there to. It's, okay, one, two, the second block, make it right. Uh -huh. And the first one, the second one, you can see guys, and they have some bikes right there. Okay. Alright? You know the red, you know the bus right now, right? Yeah, 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 okay, and then go right and then go there? Okay, no. Uh, the first, the first, uh, not this one, the other one, there, right there. Right make there, next right. in there, okay, okay, okay. You get in first block. To the second okay. Oh, uh, maybe you can go. No, sir, tienes una bike en venta, güey? Sí, güey. Okay. All right, bro. Okay, thank you, bro. Thank you. Let's go check it out. Let's go. We got instructions from a local. Make a right on Hill Street. 
see what we get ourselves into. Oh, I think he's talking about literally right here. Maybe? Dude, if we come up on a, on a banging deal on a bike, I'm buying it. I didn't see any bikes right there. Alright, uh, definitely not right there. There's nothing going on. There's a car that just recently got caught on fire. I think he's talking about right here. This is the second block on the right on Hill Street. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Getting ourselves in the mix right here. I think he's talking about this spot right here on my right. This is my best guess. Hey, brother, you have bikes for sale? Uh, no. Bikes huh? Which one right here, bikes? You want to come check it out? Uh, uh, which one? This one? No, over here, boss. Oh, I can't. I, I got my bike. I can't get in that far. <sighs> All right. Thanks anyway, bro. I did not trust that for one second. <laughs> I'm not just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. <sighs> he wanted me to go all the way up in there, bro. Oh God, that's not in my agenda for today. That is not in my cards. Going all the way up in somebody's face like that? Nah. You guys know me better than that. I've been through uh, quite a few sticky situations in my days. <laughs> and most of them have been on camera. That right there was probably going to turn into a sticky situation. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Once they see the camera, all bets are off. So like, what is this guy doing? You know, it is what it is. I am being nosy, so, you know, it's not like uh, their, their reactions are out of pocket. That was a fun little spin around the block, though. Oh, God. Oh my God, <laughs> that dog scared the hell out of me. I thought he was about to get up and bone out after me. We're right here by the freeway. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the 110 um, out here in downtown. What a weird little pocket right here. There's just a random porta potty that's just like there. What do you guys think's inside there? Do I dare open it? This is sketch. Let's take bets that there's a person in here. There's nobody in. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, I think I'm about to throw up. Oh my god, dude, I just spit in my helmet. Oh my god, that was the. I can't even. Oh, oh my god. What? Oh god, I need to pull over. I need to pull over. Oh my good god. That was probably one of the worst smells I've ever smelled in my whole life. <sighs> I gotta take my helmet off, bro. I gotta breathe. Oh my god, bro. What? I don't know what ungodly thing was in there. Something must have died. <sighs> oh my god, I feel like I need water ASAP. Dude. That was the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life, probably. What the f was that, dude? I don't even know what's in there. I think it's just literally like, well, take a guess what would be in a porta potty in the middle of the city, in the middle of nowhere in downtown LA. Take a guess. It's just probably, I don't think that thing's ever been cleaned ever. <laughs> I don't know what inspired me to even open that, thinking that I would have any reaction other than the one that I just had which was absolute horror and disgust. I haven't thrown up in a long time, but I came real close right there. Jesus, bro, what the heck? What in the heck? I'm getting a little too, uh, I'm getting a little too, uh, <laughs> what's the word? I don't know. I'm exploring too hard, explore less hard. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna hit some more places that we rarely go down right now. Let's see if we can bunny hop. Oh, we did it. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me not crash. Back through the industrial areas. We're going to try and cross this street. 
we're kind of finding some stuff out here. I never really rode around this part of town because I just, I don't know, I just never have. So I'm interested in what we're seeing right now. I do have 20 bucks on me. So if we found a sick bike for $20, we might buy it. Imagine I just give some random dude 20 bucks and be like, hey, I'll come pick it up in like an hour. What do you guys think? Do you think he'll still be there to give me the bike? What's going on, player? Let's see if we can get around right here. Is this safe? No, it's not. We're not gonna go through there. <clears throat> trying to get around, player. Don't mind me. Just trying to do my thing. It's kind of how it works. Like, I come from BMX, so usually the best stuff to ride is off of the beaten path of where people would typically go. At least that's been my experience. All right, we are shaking and grooving right now. We're gonna keep on checking out these areas that we'd never really seen before. This is, dude, he's building the house. That dude's building a full on house. This guy's building a house, dude. I don't think this, this is, this is doggy. Oh no. Oh, ah! <laughs> Okay, you got it, doggy, you got it. The block belongs to you. <laughs> the dog straight up just kicked me off the block. <laughs> I was about to say that looks like my dog. You guys remember my dog, Sophie dog, just like her. And then she just bullied me off the block. <laughs> my God, this is crazy out here. Oh. Take off on him real quick, you know what I'm saying? All right, covered some ground right there. Oh, we're at the purple building. You guys remember this? Get in the comments right now if you remember the purple building. It's been a minute since I've been over here. There's only one way to describe where I'm at, and that is the purple building. It's been a couple of our videos. This is a pretty good beacon of where I'm at. That means I'm about halfway between downtown and South Central. Look at this big field right here. Is there any way to get back there, bro? That would be sick to shred real quick. There's probably so much junk back there. Let's see if we can wrap around and get in there. That would be fun. Sidewalk's got a sketch. We're gonna have to hop off right here. Oh no! Oh shit! Why am I getting chased by so many dozen seconds? Like <laughs> what is going on, bro? How am I getting chased by so many stray dogs? He, he chased me off the block. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta challenge him. Don't worry, bro. You got it. That's your block. I'm going right. <laughs> it must be the Suron, bro, because people are walking around and not having a problem, but me? <laughs> they hit straight up gangster in me, bro. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even get on the block. They are out here pushing me away. They're saying, nah, bro, stay up out of here. This is our turn. What the heck? Small dogs, too. If a pit bull chases me, I'm literally dipping for my life. I just want you guys to know that. I am I am running all stop signs. I am running for my life, pretty much. So if that's what it comes down to, then that's what it comes down to. But oh, look at this box body. Mm. We like that. Oh wow, look at that, is that an F10? Old school Ford, that's sick. Oh yeah, we're on the mini truck street. Okay, I know where we're at, yeah, the Miata. Someone here owns a bunch of cool cars. Okay, now I know where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and make this right-hand turn. Still very close to downtown. This is like, um, I don't know what you would call this. I think if we go right, it's like Atlantic Avenue. It's not too far away. Oh, got a big tagging right here on this wall. We're definitely in some turfs. That is for dang sure. I wonder if we can find some alleys out here. We haven't seen a single alley so far. We're just kind of out here mobbing, doing our thing. There's a purple car, Angelino Taxi. I don't think I'd hop in that cab. Let me know if you guys would. I don't think I would. Sick taco. Looking nice. All right, we got some uh, we got some moves to make. We can go up here and make this left, see if we can find an alley. 
Someone told me this. Why is the Department of Power and Water look like uh, it's a prison? <laughs> why is there like humongous gates and barbed wire? Why do they have, like, why? It's like they think people are going to storm this motherfucker or something. Like, what? <laughs> why do they have barbed wire? It looks so threatening. That's kind of crazy. Maybe someone in the comments could explain this to me because I just don't get it. What is up with that? Anyways. Oh man, great day out here. Anytime there's good weather, good vibes are incoming right behind it. That cha that charger was sick. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna find some alleys around here. We might find some, I don't know. I think we're more likely to find stray dogs at this point. I don't know what it is about the dogs. They've, they don't like the sir on one bit. You know, I guess I get it. I get it. It's a bike, it's going quick, it's hard to understand what's happening. Okay, let's chase it. I think that's what's going through these dogs' heads. Slowly mobbing around, seeing a couple more taggings. We're definitely in some in some hoods turfs, but minding our own business. I just want to check out some alleys before we start heading back to the city. I'm not really finding any though. Got some cool artwork right here though. This is this is sick. Look at that. Random oh wow, look at this Hummer. <laughs> this thing is gigantic. <laughs> what the heck? Thought I was being followed for a second. I kind of was. <clears throat> what is going on right here? Looks like a tent. Look, encampment. <sighs> Dude's got his eye on me, I can tell. Let's see, yep, he is definitely following me. I got bad news, brother. You're not gonna keep up with the Suron. I don't care how hard you try on a pedal bike, it is not happening. Trust me, I'm pretty dang fast on a bicycle, and I am not keeping up with the Suron under any circumstances. See, look, we already lost him. He was definitely tracking me though. I was a little suspicious. He immediately turned around once I turned around. He waited a second though. He was clever about it. You're not gonna get one up on me. Folks, I am from Northside Long Beach. I grew up in the ghetto. I know all the tricks. I've been robbed already. It's already happened to me. You can't fool me. Any type of suspicious activity, I am aware of that like that. It just is what it is. See, look, we're gonna bust a big U-turn on him. He's not even gonna know that I'm popping up from the other side of the block. Not that I got my eye on him. I'm just trying to continue to explore and hopefully find an alley, but it looks like we're not going to find one out here. Dip into the neighborhoods. Oh, got some traffic. Boom. Ooh, look at these. Oh, there's people right there. It's curved, but sick to jump. I don't want to risk hitting the grandpas, though. Okay, mobbing. San Pedro Street. We're going to make a left right here. We already have quite a ways to go to get back to whence we started, but um, not too far. So we're chilling. Oh, uh, yeah, you like it? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Gracias, gracias. Right on. <laughs> no clue. I know a few words in Spanish, but I don't know what he was saying. Any translators in the comments? Let me know. Seem like a nice guy. All right, this is maybe our one of our last streets. Let's see if we can get across right here. Oh, this might be where he was talking about. I think this is totally what he was talking about. It's an actual legit, like they have some bikes. Let's see what they got right here. Eh, looks like a track bike. Wellington, Bolano, nothing really of interest. Yeah, I think that is, I think this is literally what he was talking about because we're right around the corner from where uh, that previous interaction happened, even though we did a bunch of stuff in between. Yeah, he was just down there. So I think that's literally what he was talking about was that spot right there. Interesting. He sent me to uh, some of his homies who actually probably were selling, I mean, who knows what's legit and what's not out here, but I think that's probably as close to legit as you're going to get on this side of LA as we go through this little area maybe it was that who knows wow 
dang, we got some uh, we got some new areas to explore. Oh, we're back at the, the prison LADWP. <laughs> we definitely got some new areas to explore. This is pretty cool. I've never really shown this area so, too much enough love. Usually, I just uh, zip right by here on my way to uh, wherever I'm going. This is my first time I actually checked out. I love this charger right here. I'm not a fan of chargers, but that one is clean. Uh, usually, I zip straight through these these neighborhoods on my way to South Central. So, cool to actually check out what's going on over here today. That was fun. We did a nice, cool little uh, tour over here. Gotta be careful going up this hill because people come flying down this way the other way. And uh, yeah, so we're about to cruise the city for a hot second. Oh my God, straight mud. Ugh. Yeah, a lot of the areas that we're gonna check out today are probably very muddy and still very wet. It was raining as early as this morning, but it is mainly all stopped. So we should be good to go for a while. Uh, shout out to everyone who is new to the channel. If you are new, welcome. What we do here is uh, ride around and explore, and that's about it. I ride on my Suron, whatever two-wheel vehicle I feel like riding on that day. And we check out the city. Today we're over here in Westlake. It has actually been a minute since I've been out this way, so I figured we would come check it out for the first video, for second of 2023, first out here in Westlake. One of my favorite places to ride, honestly. Every time I come here, I find a slightly different route, something new to see. Just overall, a super fun place to come and explore on two wheels. Lots to see, lots to do. So today, that's where we're at. Already getting started with an alley that I don't think I've ever even been down, so that's cool. In my pajamas, once again, I am just gonna ride my pajamas all winter, I think. Up until, like, it starts getting warm again, pajamas is what it's gonna be. I'm gonna be rocking pajama pants and hoodie with my boots all the way up until, like, March, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I have in store. So we were gonna go down to South Central today. I did not calculate how much time I was gonna have to ride. So instead we are over here, but we're gonna make the most of it on this wet route. Oh God, that stunk. I think we just rode straight through sewage. <laughs> uh, and yeah, oh, Modelo time. Let's try and hit some new routes though because out here in Westlake, it's kind of, you know, I, I always take the same routes because I just, my brain just autopilots in the same way. So I'm gonna try and hit some new ways today. This part of the city is very hilly. So I also wanna try and find some little things to jump off, jump on, jump over, stair rides, etc. It smells like fresh spray paint right here. I don't know. It smells like someone just finished tagging. Don't know what that's about, but. See what's going on here oh we can't even get on the sidewalk right there look at this truck look at this little mini truck i think sick love that fence here new I haven't seen fence there before all right going down to alvarado we're going to cross look at my bar and it's pretty much completely it's just this tiny little piece of rubber holding it back on still well the bar is still there but the grip is pretty much totally ripped off i just have this tiny little dangling oh, well there's that. All right, we can go straight here or we can do a little bit of exploring. I think we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. There is a crazy gaze or uh, glare from the sun right now, which is partially blinding me. I thought I could go that way. I thought that was an alley, but I'm wrong. We have a full battery, sport mode feeling very punchy. I'm so used to riding with like 60%, 50% battery lately that having a full one makes the bike feel insane. You. We're gonna make this right here because we really never go this way. See if we can find some different alleys to check out. Looks like we have two actually. Let's go this way first. Got a little bit of tagging. Vista X3. Don't know what that is. I think there's a dead end alley actually. Unlucky. Thought we were gonna be able to smash for a bit. Not the case. I'm going to turn around. Got a sick downhill right here. Last time I came here was on my dirt jumper got this flying straight into a precarious situation right there um and almost crashed i don't know if anyone remembers that video that same downhill i had on my dirt jumper my foot blew off the pedal 
<laughs> Almost looks like he's out of the Blues Brothers. <laughs> They're like, what is that thing? <laughs> Sick. So much mud, bro. Everything is mud right now. A little voice crack. <laughs> Everything is mud right now. There's so much mud on all the places I wanted to rip. Whoa. Right, where do we go from here? We're going to take some crazy routes that we really have never taken before. Oh, look at these jumps. These actually look kind of sick. It's hard to say no to these. This one looks fire. That's really it. It was just that one. Okay. Well, we're going to turn around because the way I wanted to go, this little street that I always think about going down because it's just such a, a small, narrow passageway. But I've never actually traversed down it on any two-wheel device. We're already like uh, pretty close to MacArthur Park, which is somewhere I'm excited to check out. I haven't been there in quite a while. Always something to see and do there. Take my typical route, ripping through the park, hitting the stairs, all that good stuff. But before we get there, I want to hit this street. This little narrow street. So this goes into a left and a right hill, but in between it, Okay, I thought there were some alleys and stuff back here. I guess not. I always thought this led somewhere else. Is that an uphill? I guess we're gonna go this way. Oh. Yeah. I think I need some more air pressure in my tires. I've been bopping so many curves, just flying up them. Starting to feel a little uh, loose. The whole ground is wet here. It looks like it just got power washed. We're gonna end up going this way later. But for now, we're gonna go this way. And kind of lap around it. Road blocked by tent. I mean, sidewalks blocked by new tents here. More new tents. So, as a lot of you guys know, MacArthur Park has been cleared out of like um, encampments, which basically means people living in tents. And I feel like they just kind of got the place, this place in the neighborhoods surrounding all over. And uh, now this is like where they're at, just in random cuts and nooks and crannies in this neighborhood. Which is arguably not better for anybody at all, you know. I don't think anyone wants to, you know, I don't know. I don't ever get into the politics of, of the things I see. I just point stuff out, you know, so. Who knows? Anywho. Uh, we're going downhill right now, straight into MacArthur Park. So I guess we're going to thread through here much sooner than we had originally planned to. A bunch of stuff going on on sidewalks. This is a cool little sidewalk jump. That'd be fun to send it on. That sidewalk's actually kind of fire. I just wasn't really ready for any of that. I can barely see where I'm going this way because the sun glare is so bright right now. It's also like my goggles. I can barely see anything out of them. Well, not really. It's just like when I'm looking directly into the sun. Anyways, we got MacArthur Park on the left. We're going to try and dip down in here right now and see what's going on. Actually, wait, it's fenced off. Why is it closed? The whole thing's been stopped. Excuse me, thank you. What? Park temporarily closed for renovation. No entry during closure. No way, bro. This is so heartbreaking. This is partially why I came down here today to do my regular thread through. That's not good. Um, we're gonna go up a little bit, see if there's a way around it. I don't think there is though. It looks like it's all fenced off. You guys know my typical ride. I love zooming through here and bombing the stairs, but that is not going to happen today. It's totally fenced off. I think we can maybe get in on the other side. This is the other side of the park entirely, but I think there's a way. I see people down there, so I don't know. We're going to start with this hill bomb. Try not to disturb the ducks. And at least we get to match it out right here. Get a little bit of speed. Oh my god, so much fun just ripping this thing full throttle. We've got to do some bird avoiding. Try not to disturb the birdies. 
I can't wear my boots. If I was wearing jeans and shorts, my feet would be covered in mud and dirt. And probably a lot of bird poop along with all that. Look at this bird just posted on this dude. <laughs> One of my favorite parts to rip through. It's one of the only parts you can get away with just kind of shredding through in LA because, you know, it's kind, of, kind of like a lawless area. So we do this. And we go up this hill right here. And that's the route. Then usually we come out. Dude, this bike is just something else, bro. It's so good. Usually we come out, cross right here dip across the street and then hit the stairs but that is just not going to happen today with this fence if only i could go through it like the hulk impossible anyways i do see the park open on this side so we are going to cruise down the sidewalk just a bit looks like they found an opening yeah that's one way and i just don't feel like going over that with my sir on there's definitely people here <laughs> it's not stopping anyone from getting in the park you know it's quote unquote closed. Let's get off the sidewalk. Tons of people. Oh. Yep. MacArthur Park. Dude, I, I the other day I went on a YouTube like you know where you just start clicking random stuff. I saw this crazy video from like 2007 of a insane like moment of police brutality at this park. I don't know if any of you guys saw it, but like. Um, the cops, there was like a protest and the police came and just, it was insane footage, bro. They were like beating up reporters and stuff. The LAPD, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, wow, this happened. I must have been like uh, 13 when that happened. So I wasn't really paying attention to news and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyways. Hey, is that a show on? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, thanks, man. It's so fun. Is it? Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. They made a fast one though, you know that, right? Yeah, it's actually just perfect. I'll put it that way. You do the mod to it? No, I haven't really done any mods. I have a battery, but that's it. I have a battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pulling, huh? Yeah, yeah. This thing right, pulls, bro. bro. Enjoy yourself. Hey, thanks, brother. You too. Sick. <laughs> Dude, he do what a Sauron was. That's rad. That's so cool. We get across the street. Which way can we go here? Let's see if we can hit up the stairs. Sit. All right. We are straight up mobbing. Having a good time. You see what I mean? We end up going the same route. So right here, we're going to make a left. I've done that same route so many times. Where I go here and then I go that way and then I go straight. We're gonna switch it up right here. We're gonna make a left right here, which is something I never do. I'm gonna take this alley up here on the right, if we can get to it. Let's see if we can make it through here. It's pretty hectic right now. got our first alley one thing about the alleys here is they are scenic this one's actually got cleared out like a lot there used to be a ton of stuff back here now it's pretty much empty and we're gonna keep going across the way to the next one there's something when i full pressure my front brake i hear like a creaking i don't know what that is feels like it's coming from my stem I gotta take this thing and just give it another tighten down. I recently did that though, so everything should be good. This alley is very wet. It's got a soggy mattress right there. A little charger right there. Lots of rugged terrain and the smell of doo-doo. A constant. Almost anywhere you are in LA. You gotta keep going. Alley number three right in front of us. The alley tour continues. Boom. How much see here? Yeah, the radio bumping. That was up. Oh. 
Whoa, looks like a fire happening right there. That is not good. Not out of the ordinary either though. Now we got a big major street right here. It takes some time to get across this one. Olympic. Great to say I am fully back in love with riding the Suron though. This thing is just, there's really nothing like it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't see myself buying any more bikes for a long time. I got my Enduro, got my dream road bike. My BMX is still sitting in my backyard. And then I have this, which is my daily driver for my videos for the foreseeable time being. Safe to say it, I'm sure you guys are happy about that too, because for the most part, it looks like everyone loves the Suron content. You gotta get across the street one way or another. The traffic is just not slowing down. The last alley on this short route, then we're gonna bend around, check out some neighborhoods. Not much to see back here. This is actually just a pathway to the next location. Almost in South Central once we're on the other side of this. But not quite. See from here you have to pick your route carefully because you easily can get into an area where there's just like nothing going on. For better or for worse. For content we want like, you know, something going on. Oh, there's another alley right there. Oh, have we gone down that? I don't know. We'll have to check it out though. There's many alleys left out here that I haven't checked out at some point or another, but worth a look. A little bit of tagging. Illegible. Someone, you know, setting up an entire house. Multiple large tents. And that's that one. Oh, these go the other way. Huh. Interesting. Here's a dog. <laughs> He's so scared. He's shivering just walking down the street. Poor thing. Alright, uphill. Let's go. Lots of tagging. Oh, God. Nasty ass mud, bro. Ugh. That mud looks disgusting. Gunning it going uphill though. Love that. Oh, good call there. I think he knew how to use the brakes. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> We're going straight into a, a trash truck. So I'm going to try and let him get around right here. Worked out. Oh, we got a little, got a little loss of traction right there coming out of that turn. Holy CRS X3. Where we look? Slowly making our way back to where we came. Is that cruise down this one a little bit slower? You guys get a shot of the sights and sounds of this section of LA. Oh, this alley's totally cleared up too. This seems to be tent, like up head to toe tent. Interesting. I wonder why here though. Historically, this alley has not really had the problem with the people living in it. You know, I've come up and down here on my BMX, walking. And I'm a Suron multiple times. Never had a problem. So, interested to wonder to see why they cleared that one out. I mean, it looks like people were still there, but. Alright, so, we're back here. That's MacArthur. We're gonna go through the park the opposite direction. E bikes are plenty out here. We got the four-way intersection, very rare. And the preacher, you have to get that. You know, things you see in LA, pretty much. You take the birds. All right, so we're gonna rip through here the opposite way. And then we're gonna cut around through K-Town in another direction. Just trying to get as much off-road timing as possible. We just stay on the grass all the way through here. Yeah, seems to work. 
except for this part is a gigantic drop, which if you didn't know and he kept charging, uh, you'd be in for an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> he was freaking stoked to see the Sauron moving. Alright. Up in the Cape Town we go. Why not, right? It's been a minute. I don't think I really properly explored Cape Town in the Sauron, really. And there's a reason for that. There's just way too many cars out here. There's just so many cars. It just kind of freaks me out, so. And there's not really much to do. It's a very clean place and all that, but, you know, it's like, what do you really do out here? There's another park we can check out, so we'll start there. Other than that, I'm not sure what really the motive would be. You might gain. This is a fun BMX spot from back in the day, grinding. Used to be 180 bar spin off of that, but no longer with the fence. All right, we're going down the street on the sidewalk against traffic. Pretty much the opposite of how I used to ride a Sauron, but the thing about me, I just don't really follow the rules ever. Lots of greenery, the rain helped, which is nice to see. We're trying to cross up ahead, I guess. We're just, we're going into the city, which is, was not my plan whatsoever, but, you know, nothing wrong with the city. I just, I wouldn't plan on going here. There is a park right here. We could probably shred through it really quick. I've actually, I don't think I've been through this park in ages. State park right there. Looks like there's a little cut. There's really nothing to do in this park, so I'm just going to get right up on out of here. And we're in Cape Town, officially. Looks like the stoplight's broken. We're just gonna go. There's a high school right here. I couldn't imagine what it's like to go to high school in the city out here. That would probably not be very fun. There's like a middle lane route right here I could probably take. The old trail. <laughs> Hopefully nothing unexpected pops up. Oh. It's working so far. Keep it going. Oh my god, I'm just hoping I don't run over like a manhole or something. Nice. Alright. Nice little shred up out of K-Town. That's a video for another day. We're not really going all the way through there. Got water popping up in my face and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sidewalk. All right, we have covered some ground today, folks. Big ground in a short amount of time, too. Love to see that. So from here, we're gonna keep sending it. Straight down, and we are coming back up if I still have no sense of direction of where I am. After we cross this major street, we are right there at that street I mentioned earlier in the video where I said I've been wanting to go down forever. So we really did a gigantic loop right now. Did want to do another South Central route. We are going to be doing that this weekend because we have more rain coming starting Monday. Today is Friday. So probably tomorrow, I'm going to get back on the Suron and do a long route all the way around the areas I've been going to the last two videos. We're going to get even more ground covered out there. And, uh, yeah, that's a plan. There's still so much to be seen in that part of town. And it's a little bit more chill. Even though it's in the hood, it's like, oh God. You can kind of do your own thing a little bit more because there's less cars. Given the cars that are there, you don't really want to run into it. See, here's the street that we started on. You know, because the drivers out there are pretty psychotic. But, you know, I think by and large, it's a little bit more freedom out there than there is out in these parts of town because there's just so many variables riding around out here. So many cars that pop up out of nowhere, people walking. 
etc. Even though I'm in my loud neon, it's still kind of hard to see. Let's see. And here we're gonna pop up on the curb. Oh, this thing is traffic beater, bro. Traffic just does not exist when you're on a Suron. And we're gonna cross right here. See if we can get across this street. This is one of the last major ones we gotta get across. And we're good. Straight to a hill climb. Watch the cars. You gotta keep your eyes open for it. Cross traffic. I like going down that hill. It's like just as fun to go up it on the Suron. <laughs> I think I have more fun climbing hills going fast on this bike than I do doing than I do going down them. Going down them, you're really just like hanging on for dear life. But going up is just it's fun in a completely different way. I love it. Alright, so some massive we are now back re-entering Westlake and we have done a monstrous route which is just awesome. Dang, look at all this. This is a school. By the way, this school is currently in session too. So these are this is what's going on while kids are in this school, most likely. Maybe on the weekend, but that is just not cool. Lots of tags everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere you look. Crazy. Is it open? It's rideable. We're gonna try we gotta hit this before. You know, we gotta do it. <laughs> it's, it's just a must. You rarely see this place open. Why is it all tagged up? So this place is, I don't really know exactly what it is, but it has been under construction for a long time. I don't know if we can climb up the stairs, it's pretty steep. This side's good. I don't know what language that is. Someone could probably fill us in in the comments. Indonesian maybe? Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's been under construction for like at least six years and it just hasn't been open. Maybe it is, just not this side. Let's see what's going on through here. They just tagged out that real little score inch they could. Unfortunate. Person Square. Police are out. What is even going on right here? I don't know. I just rode through sewage, it's all good. Road through worse. And that's how we do that. <laughs> Not much else for me to say, folks. Oh, oh. Angry puppy. Flying. That dude was not waiting for anybody, dude. He was ready to run everybody who was trying to cross over. I'm out here wilding though. This is against traffic. We're gonna go ahead and try and fix that. We're two from here. Making as many. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, I felt my rim on that. Full on bottom out. I think I might have a flat. And I gotta say, I deserve it for how many stairs I've just completely smashed my wheels against today. <laughs> There's no way that I'm not getting a flat. Today has been a record for how much I have done damage to this bike. There's another C8. It's like they're talking to me. We're going to go ahead and bend this corner to the left. Oh, we're good. I can't believe it. 
these inner tubes I got in here. The Tusk Tusk inner tubes for your Sauron. Can't beat them. Boom. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the content. That's it, folks. Till the next one, stay safe. Peace out.